morning everyone this is Jopke and today I'm going to start with a brand new challenge for me that is the 100 things challenge um, set by crazy Rebecca as she calls herself for herself from dances with pitbulls uh, just a few days ago I came across her channel and she came up with the idea of making a 100 things uh, using up your stash so in the period of making those 100 things you can't uh, purchase anything or collect anything you have to create them with the stuff you already have so the only thing that is allowed is buying glue of course because you probably will need a lot of glue uh, for uh, making 100 things so that is allowed but nothing else um, the idea behind this is to use up stuff that you have in your stash for a long time and you never came around to use them or you didn't like them all that much or you bought them and it was uh, probably a mistake uh, or you didn't you aren't satisfied about the product or whatever uh, I'm not doing this very long about two years or so and I already have a lot of those things in my stash so I thought about it earlier to you well I have to use up all these things uh, and things I made myself you, you, you know like this this is a, an acrylic metallic paint in a, a kind of needle tip bottle which is so transparent that I that you can hardly see it and I never use it but I also have this and I have a couple of more things the these um, uh, Inca gold uh, what is this kind of a creamy paint it, oh it's probably dried out already I never use those as well um, so I need to use up some of my stash as well so that's why I thought this is just a great idea so I watched a few videos by crazy Rebecca and she is a little bit crazy a lot of fun watching her videos and she started off with this uh, these bookmarks and I well maybe it's a bit cheating already because she used these eyeballs on her um, uh, bookmarks and uh, little booklets she made and I just love them so what I did is I did print out a couple of eye balls that maybe I'm going to use but that's it so I really loved these bookmarks and I had a couple of them myself because yeah I used to be a reader not so much anymore and I whenever I bought a book uh, there was often a bookmark to go with it so I have a couple of them so I picked a few out and I will start making this challenge uh, the first thing number one but purchasing nothing uh, collecting nothing within the time period of uh, making these 100 things I probably uh, am not going to manage but I will promise you for this project I will only use stuff that ha I have in my stash right now and to make sure that it's all um, going well I have this black box can you see it it's a bit big big back black box and it's empty this empty box everything I will buy or purchase a purchase or or collect within uh, as of now that will go into this box so that I for sure am not using stuff for this challenge that I just bought or collected so that seems uh, an honest way of doing that um, so let's start with the first of 100 things have fun So I decided on three bookmarks um, and um, as I said these are already bookmarks but uh, I decided to alter those. Um, 
the first thing I do is adding some gesso and because I wanted a bit of texture I decided on doing that with the heavy gesso and uh, a palette knife and that is the heavy gesso by Finnabert, Art Basics by Finnabert. And I do that on both sides. This video was quite long so I had to cut a bit so uh, uh, repeated processes I'm not showing you but uh, I will tell you what is uh, going on. Uh, so here I am uh, gluing down some pieces of tissue paper. Uh, this is a piece of old craft paper and I'm uh, gluing uh, stuff down randomly on all three of the bookmarks and I am showing you here uh, what I do on the first and I'm only showing you what I did on the front uh, but uh, it's it's kind of the same for every bookmark I'm doing just tearing down pieces of the tissue paper and gluing it down with a glue stick and here I am doing the same for this one, um, I have well, I have kind of three colors uh, defined, and that is blue, red, and black. So this is my red uh, bookmark, uh, which I'm adding tissue paper and stuff to. Uh, so yet, yeah, yes, as I told you uh, just earlier that I'm stealing the idea of Crazy Rebecca because I really love those eyeballs and I printed out a couple and um, here I am deciding which one to use and first I thought of cutting out uh, such an eyeball but I thought well let's tear it so I have a bit of a rough edge uh, which um, is nicer for my idea I think and I'm gluing down um, the eyes and I have three bookmarks two of them um, have a kind of a similar eye uh, only one is in black and white but the blue one the third is really an eyeball and really like that so I decided on using that what I'm doing now is uh, covering up the edges of all the pieces that I glued down with uh, the heavy gesso and just using my fingers to add some uh, of the white gesso onto the bookmark. So all the, the straight edges, the cut edges are uh, kind of blending in. And then it's time to add some color. And as I just said, I defined three colors. I had the blue, black and a red kind of orangey one and I decided uh, on using because this challenge is about using up your stuff and I had all these needle bottles uh, with acrylic paint in them so I decided to use those for adding some color but it kind of splattered a bit and I hadn't sealed the eyeballs and I don't want to smush and spill stuff all over those so first thing I did was uh, sealing those with the art medium so if I spill some paint on those eyeballs I could easily wipe it off so uh, using up the paint in my needle tip bottles and there's a red a black and a blue one and here I'm working on my red bookmark and now I'm going in on the gray black one uh, just using up the paint in the needle bottles and spraying that it with water and to kind of smudge uh, up the background of the bookmark. I'm doing the same on all uh, three, uh, but only with different colors uh, because for the blue, I use the blue paint and I'm also uh, doing it on the back side. So I kind of use the same process for every bookmark um, that is so uh, in the end of this video because I had to cut down I will show you most of uh, what I did on the red bookmark and a few bits and pieces on the other ones so here I'm adding some blue acrylic to the blue and as you can see, I also did it on the back side. Um, first, I had pulled out some uh, pieces of paper, some scraps, uh, in, in patent papers and that kind of stuff, because I thought I could use something of that to add to the bookmarks. 
um, but in the end um, I decided on text so I, col I collect uh, uh, text from magazines and stuff I have a, a, a box where I keep it all in and I took them out and um, try to sort some out and finding the right text for the right bookmark so uh, the ones that were with red letters uh, and red text I chose for my red bookmark and uh, I have some black and white for the other two but um, yeah I picked out uh, some words some are Dutch some are English that could fit for a bookmark so uh, for example simplify your life uh, and uh, this is the word uh, geniet which means enjoy um, uh, and there was this word uh, which said verdwijn tijd and that uh, I thought was perfect for a bookmark uh, it's not a word that I'm working on right now uh, uh, by the way but it's um, another one I'm using on the front side later on and that word verdwijntijd means actually uh, sort of disappearing time and I thought this that is this word that I'm working on right now uh, I thought that would be perfect for a bookmark so picking out some work, trimming them down, gluing them down with a glue stick in several place, places, also in the back. Uh, that word says heerlijk, which kind of means um, um, wonderful, lovely, uh, that kind of thing. And this is the word geniet, which is enjoy. So I'm giving you some uh, Dutch uh, lessons as well here <laughs> um, so gluing all down with the glue stick and then I decided on doing some stenciling with paint and I grabbed a few Tim Holtz stencils and I have some acrylic paint the do crafts acrylic paint I have quite a few of those as well and I'm using those for stenciling and to give a nice pattern on the front as well as on the back and then I'm using a Faber-Castell uh, pit pen in the right color to uh, use around the words that I glue down to create some dimension uh, create some shadow doing the same with a charcoal pen and um, here I'm trying to smudge it with uh, I don't know how you call such a pen but in the end I decided on the water brush uh, just creating some shadow here and there uh, mainly with the words so and all these things uh, that I'm doing um, making the shadows adding uh, the words and uh, that will uh, I'm, I'm doing that on all three of the bookmarks kind of doing the same procedure uh, here I am adding some acrylic paint with a sponge onto the uh, edges of the bookmark so uh, the, the paint will leave a bit of texture because it's kind of thick so it leaves a bit of texture around the edges which I like uh, here I am adding some splatter, white splatters with acrylic paint and that is used from the, that needle tip bottle because I needed to use that up and also splattering on the back. What I'm also doing with the needle tip bottle is writing uh, something in Dutch uh, which is, uh, says have a good time reading uh, Lees ze I'm saying in Dutch and that's just a scribble and now I'm doing kind of the same thing uh, for all the other all other uh, bookmarks the two other bookmarks uh, so the, the writing uh, the text uh, gluing down the text and uh, uh, adding some shadow and uh, using my Faber-Castell pit pens to go around the edges 
doing some uh, splattering and inking the edges using the charcoal, kind of doing that for all uh, the, the bookmarks really. So in the end, I was very happy. Oh, here I am adding a palm tree. I had this image of a palm tree. I thought that was, would go nice on the black one as well. And this is also a Tim Holtz stencil. So I used to read a lot. Really, I used to read a lot. I'm kind of a thriller fan, loved the books by Stephen King and read them all, but kind of lost it really. I can't concentrate whatever reading a book. Um, what I often do, um, but that's um, when I go to bed, uh, I put up, put on an audio book. I am uh, registered at Storytel and I love to listen to uh, books and that helps me fall asleep as well. So that's a good thing. Um, but reading, yeah, I used to read so much and I just can't do it anymore. I could uh, sit in my couch, couch for hours reading a book and unfortunately, Unfortunately, that doesn't work for me anymore. So here I am with the blue bookmark, adding some uh, dimension around that eyeball with the Faber-Castell artist pit pen. And here I go um, again with the stencil and the Duke Crafts acrylic paints. So, well, that's it for my first 100 things project. I think these bookmarks turned out quite okay. So, hope you enjoyed watching this video and see you again very soon. Bye!